Hello, Aquarians. Hello to all of my Aquarians out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the week of April 15th to the 21st. This reading is for all of my Aquarians out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of April 15th through April 21st. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. <clears throat> if this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If this reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my vibe and feel like I'm the reader for you, hit the subscribe link. The notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are posted and hit the thumbs up image so that this video circulates reaches someone that needs clarity enlightenment and guidance pertaining to their situation if you need a personal reading the link is in the description box i am going to be using the celtic cross spread for this reading and we are going to start off with let's see what is the current energy for my Aquarians? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the current energy for the sign of Aquarius? Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. What is the past? Okay. Cards are coming out in twos. You... Or your person, someone may have a decision to make. We have the Justice card here. Libra's energy. The Five of Swords. What is the overall energy? Or the Crown and Thoughts. That's too many cards. What are the Crown and Thoughts for my Aquarians? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. We have the Page of Cups. Your immediate future energy is the Fool card. Aries, Aquarius, energy. Okay. All right. What, what, um, what are you, okay. Okay. Let me get these cards a, a shuffle because they are jumping out. They are jumping so, I feel like you have a lot on your mind. What What is it that you are fearing? Okay. The Ten of Cups. Why is this Ten of Cups here? My nose is running as usual. <laughs> okay. The Nine of Cups. You are hoping the Knight of Wands. And what is your outcome? What is the outcome for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What is the outcome for the sign of Aquarius? <coughs> okay. The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Okay. So... <coughs> You have the Ten of Pentacles. Right now, you may be focusing on stabilizing a family situation as well as your finances. You may be giving a lot to um, multiple people. Could be you, could be your partner, but I see someone may be juggling here. Contemplating on how they are going to balance things out I feel like you may need to watch your back because there may be some sneaky energy around you someone may be being sneaky with this justice card here so in the past things were balanced but I feel like there was something going on 
that you were I feel like you you were unable to see your victory in a situation. Not able to see your victory in a situation. And this is in the past, your past energy. Because right now, you're ready to take action and offer someone a cup of love. Could be you, or this could be your partner. Someone is offering up a cup of love. That's with what is on someone's mind right now. In your immediate future, you have the food card. So you may be feeling as if you are not sure, not certain where you're going to end up, how things are going to turn out for you, but I still see you juggling multiple things, maybe multiple people. You're on this journey, this new journey, not knowing where you're going to end up, and you feel like this is something that's infinite, like feeling like, am I ever going to figure out what it is that I'm going to do, that I want to do? Like, am I, am I going to get a clear view of where I'm supposed to be going. You fear the Ten of Cups. You fear being complete within a home life situation, or you may fear that you are not going to get this Ten of Cups, this happy life within a family, within a relationship with children or a home or something like that. Because this is your wish. This is a wish fulfillment for you. You're hoping that you don't run into any players with the nine of wands in the reverse. Because with the lover's card as your outcome, you want love. You want love. And you're ready to take action or someone is ready to take action and come towards you. Why's this uh, King of Wands here? Yeah, because they want to balance things out. This person wants to compromise with you. They want give and take. They want to do things moderately. I'm seeing fire and water. Someone could be a fire sign. Someone may be a water sign. maybe a cancer or a leo but i see someone is coming in swiftly to balance this situation out and with this two of two of cups there may be a decision to make which way do i go i don't know which way do i go I want balance in this situation. I want to work things out. But I need something to end in order for something new to begin in my life. Yeah. I have obstacles that I need to overcome in order to have a new beginning. I'm thinking about it. But I don't know. Do I speak my truth? Do I speak my truth? Why is this King of Swords here? The Sun card. Do I speak my truth because this person makes me happy? I see light with them. I'm happy around this person. Leo's energy, the Sun card. Why is the Sun card here? But I'm going to take my time. The Eight of Wands. I'm not going to rush in. I'm going to take my time. And wait for something to be illuminated to me. Mm -hmm. Take my time. Because there could be a third party. That's what the decision is. The chariot card, cancer energy is here. I want to, I want to, or I'm taking my time to decide on what I want or decide on who I want 
So right now I'm celebrating and moving towards a new beginning, a second chance. Moving towards making a judgment call. Scorpio's energy, cancer energy. I'm taking my time to move towards this judgment call. Because I know I have to walk away. But I'm waiting to have this two of cups. I'm waiting for this reciprocity, this give and take. But I'm still working on it. But I'm waiting. Because I know that if I turn my back now, there will be a tower moment. Scorpio Aries energy. Okay? So let's see what the advice is. Spirit, what advice do you have for my Aquarians? What advice do you have for the sign of Aquarius? Someone could also be waiting on some money. I'm seeing someone waiting on money. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles here. Someone is waiting on money. There's a new beginning coming in. New money. Something about money. Wise, what um, advice do you have for the sign of Aquarius? What advice do you have for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, okay. That was too many. <laughs> Sorry. That was like half the deck, half the deck of cards. What advice do you have for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, there we go. There we go. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. Someone could be wearing a mask, not really telling you how they feel. I feel like someone loves you. There is love here. But this person is wearing a mask. This may have something to do with children. A little girl to be specific. So I'm seeing a two. So there again, actually there are two children here. So I've, I've, no, three. Three children. One of them you really can't see. Someone has a decision to make. This may have something to do with three children, but I'm going to leave it at that. Aquarians, this is your reading for the week of April 15th through the 21st. Comment below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Be safe. I'm sending you lots of love, lots of peace, and lots of healing energy. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my subscribers all of the new subscribers enjoy your weekend and i will see you next time bye